Okay. So, today we will be talking about geodesics. Geodesics are some special class of curves on a surface S. So, suppose I am moving on a surface, let us say I have drawn a surface patch on the board and I am moving on the plane gamma, uh, sorry I am moving along a curve gamma. Then and suppose I move on unit speed. Okay. Physically, all of us know that gamma dot dot, gamma dot is the speed and gamma dot dot the double derivative that is what is it? This is, this has a physical interpretation is called acceleration. Now, if I am working on the surface, what post, post if I working on the surface, so what component of the acceleration I can perceive? I can perceive only component of the acceleration which is parallel to the tangent at gamma. So, that is parallel to gamma dot. So, if I am moving along this, I can only perceive what is tangent to this the way I am moving. Suppose we are driving in a car. So, how do you feel the acceleration? Uh, if you speed, speed along the road, then along the road how much you are you are, you are uh, accelerating or your car is accelerating that much you can feel, but it will have other components right. If I am say moving on a circular path, I will only see at a particular point, I will only see if I am moving in a circular path on a surface, I can see only acceleration along this part, but this will have another component of course. That component I cannot feel. So, I make a definition here and then discuss the consequence. Gamma, a curve on surface S, smooth curve, is called a geodesic if gamma dot dot t is 0, the acceleration is 0, that is you are moving in constant speed or perpendicular to gamma dot at all point t. What does it mean? This if I move along a geodesic on a surface, I will not feel any acceleration because I can feel acceleration which is only on the tangential direction gamma dot, but if gamma dot dot is 0, okay, there is no acceleration anyways, but in, can, in the second case gamma dot dot this is perpendicular to gamma dot, then I will not feel because I cannot see this component, I can see the component only this way. So, in particular this curve is geodesic, the way I have drawn, drawn it, whereas this curve gamma dot dot gamma tilde gamma tilde dot dot is not perpendicular to gamma dot neither 0. So, this is not a geodesic. So, why we are interested in such a curve? Because this I am saying verbally, suppose a particle on a surface is moving on a along a curve and this particle is subjected to no force except a force which is perpendicular to the surface that is along the direction of n standard normal. Okay. And particle keeps moving then it will only move along geodesics. Why is so? Because you recall the Newton's second law which does which says what? Second law of motion says that force on the particle is parallel to the acceleration gamma dot dot right 
f equal to m g that is the way we write, g is the acceleration in that case. But I am already given this gamma dot dot, the acceleration is perpendicular to the surface or parallel to the perpendicular to the surface parallel to n, then it cannot change its path unless uh, there is acceleration, a particle does not change a path right. It is a first law of Newton say that okay, particle moving on a line it keeps moving unless there is some force is acted on it. So, this is one interpretation a particle moving on the surface and subjected to no force except a force acting perpendicular to the surface will would move along geodesics. Later on maybe next lecture we will have another interpretation of geodesics and that is very interesting one. It says that if you look at a regular smooth surface nice surface and you could take two points. So, you can join these two points in various curves lying on the surface itself. The shortest one will be the geodesic. We will see why. Now, from the definition itself that immediate observation gamma is a geodesic if and only if is geodesic curvature is 0. So, that was the interpretation. So, we talked about normal curvature, we did not talk about the geodesic, geodesic curvature. So, now we see what is the relation from the definition itself it follows I will show how very easy that gamma is a geodesic if and only if is geodesic curvature is 0. So, if a curve has geodesic curvature then it cannot have it cannot be a geodesic. Why this is so? Well, uh, we have taken gamma to be unit speed. So, all curves are unit speed huh? again I keep on forgetting the writing that this is unit speed curve, but I have said it this is a blanket assumption on any curve we discuss that we are talking about unit speed curve. So, gamma is unit speed. So, gamma dot norm is 1 that gives you Okay, recall what was kg? kg was gamma dot 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 product with n cross gamma dot, but by definition implies gamma dot dot is parallel to the normal. That will imply gamma dot dot is perpendicular to this vector. Now, if the two vectors are perpendicular then this has to be this fellow has to be 0 dot product has to be 0. Conversely, if k g is 0 then this is equal to gamma dot dot n cross gamma dot, but gamma is unit speed this imply gamma dot dot 
is perpendicular to gamma dot again and gamma dot dot is per, this shows the gamma dot dot is perpendicular n cross gamma dot also. So, this is must, must, must show that gamma dot dot should be parallel to n. I have three vectors right n gamma dot and n cross gamma dot three perpendicular vectors gamma dot with this vector is perpendicular gamma is perpendicular to this gamma is unit speed. So, gamma dot is perpendicular to this. So, it has to be parallel to this vector. Next observation. So, let us call this observation 1. Next observation 2 is any part of a straight line on any surface S regular smooth surface is a geodesic. Why? Straight line looks like gamma dot is at all point T is just this vector B. So, gamma dot dot T is 0 and that satisfy the first condition of the geodesic. The guy either gamma dot dot T is 0 everywhere or perpendicular to gamma dot at every point. Observation 3. Any normal section of a surface is geodesic, is a geodesic. What is the normal section? I think I have not defined it before. So, normal section is a curve like this. So, suppose I have a surface and suppose this is at, at some point P this is a tangent plane at P. Okay. Normal section is a plane which cuts the surface perpendicular to it. So, okay. So, you cut this plane perpendicularly by another plane which goes this way. Now, the definition of a normal section this is gamma is a normal section if it is the curve of intersection of the surface patch I am looking at sigma with a plane let us say pi which is perpendicular to the tangent plane of sigma at every point of gamma. Okay. A better picture maybe I can try to draw. So, you have the surface patch sigma, you have a curve gamma, this is the curve gamma. So, this is the tangent plane. So, at a point P, at point, point P, suppose this is the tangent plane, the normal section will cut along this
cut the tangent plane this is perpendicularly at each point of gamma. So, such a thing will be called a normal section. Okay. Why it is so? Why it is a geodesic? This needs some work. So, suppose gamma is a normal section. So, gamma lies in the plane pi, right. This will imply the normal of the principal normal at gamma is parallel to pi. Standard normal of the surface is also parallel to pi. But eta and n standard normal are both perpendicular to gamma dot. So, eta and this are parallel, eta and per perpendicular to both gamma dot and they are parallel to the plane on one particular plane, two, two vectors which is perpendicular to one vector, both of them perpendicular to one vector and they both are parallel to pi. So, that in place eta and the standard normal and uh, standard normal and the principal normal of the curve they are parallel at each point of gamma. But gamma dot dot I know this is some k times eta. So, the normal curvature and, and the normal curvature was what k times eta dot this which is k cos phi, phi is the angle between n and gamma dot and k g is plus minus k sin phi right. But gamma is a normal section. So, this psi equal to 0 uh, yeah psi equal to 0. So, therefore, k g equal to 0 and we have seen geodesic curvature 0 means gamma is geodesic. Okay. So, this observation will also give us this next observation all great circles on the sphere are geodesics. Since they are all normal sections. If you draw the sphere, you will see it immediately. Here is my sphere. I take a great circle. Right. If you cut, so suppose they take the standard sphere. So, great circle looks like this, right? Longitudes. So, if you cut the sphere in this plane perpendicular to, so if I take this card, this tangent plane is this way. Suppose I am moving this way. So, tangent plane is uh, the tangent plane is switch tangent plane is uh, z x z plane. So, if I cut it through y z plane, then I will get which is perpendicular to x z plane. So, if I cut it through y z plane, I will get a surface. So, if you think of a globe, you have a you then you cut it no, normally by just a cardboard then what you get a gate circle and that gate circle has to be geodesic because it is by construction it is a normal, normal section. Now, given a surface the problem is here, given a nice smooth surface S determine 
all its geodesics. Okay. Theoretically you can, but you will soon see that it is very difficult job. There are good theorems, one of them is like this, which will tell you what are the geodesics. So, let us take gamma t a curve on a surface patch sigma curve on surface patch sigma. Theorem says very clearly gamma is a geodesic if and only if. So, this so it is answers all the cost problem but see you soon see the difficulty if and only if gamma satisfies okay i will write the equation it will satisfy the equation in the next page so given any regular smooth surface patch i take a gamma t it will be a geodesic if and only if gamma satisfies equation 1 d dt e u dot plus f v dot equal to half e u u dot square 2 f u u dot v dot plus g u v dot square first equation. Second equation is d d t f u dot symmetric huh? g v dot is equal to half e u same u dot square 2 f b u dot v dot plus g v v dot square. These two equations are called geodesic equations. Okay, proof I will write down next time, proof is very easy but the problem is we will solve them. Okay. How you solve for u and v from here? So, problem is to solve the problem equation. Well, if your surface patch is nice enough then one can do it perhaps, but not all the time E f u dot v dot will be very nice to nicely behave right. For instance, I give an example. Very simple example, so that I can actually use geodesic equation. Okay. So, what is E? We have calculated before E, G both are 1, F is 0. So, geodesic equations are go back D, D, T, E, F is 0, E, U 0 because it is identically 1. So, the right hand side is 0 both, both the cases and I get what? just get u dot dot plus v dot dot equal to 0 and second equation is E f both are 1. So, d d t of u dot plus v dot that is u dot dot plus v dot dot right hand side is 0 and second equation f is 0 uh, sorry g is f is 0 u dot f is 0. So, the u dot does not occur. So, this g is 1. So, only v dot dot right hand side is again 0. So, v dot dot is 0, but 1 and 2 together will also give you u dot dot equal to 0. So, what are they? u equal to a plus b t b equal to some c plus d t straight lines u t and v t are like this. Okay. I solve u and v in terms of uh, t. Now, cases are 
if b equal to 0 and d equal to 0, then I got u equal to a v equal to c. So, this is a straight line. Okay. Now, what is gamma t in general? Gamma t is, if I put back, this is cos a plus b t sin a plus b t and v is c plus d t. Okay. So, by translation, so translation in R2, so rigid motion nothing changes, we may assume gamma t, assume gamma t is just cos b t sin b t d t. Okay. Gamma t is looks like cos b t sin b t d t. Okay. B equal to 0, this is straight line, this is 0, B equal to 0, this is 1, 0, d t. D equal to 0, cos b t sin b t, this is 0, so this is a circle and b equal, b not equal to 0, d not equal, both are non-zero, then it is a circular helix. So, geodesic on a cylinder are straight lines, these circles or circular helix. What is happening here is actually, so this is a cylinder. If you want to have a geodesic between these two point, that will be straight line. A geodesic between this point and this point living on the same plane, that will be circle. Geodesic between this point and this point behind, then it will go like circular helix. So, these are the this is circle, circular helix. Okay. For this case, it is very easy to solve, but in general one may not be very lucky, we have to see some more techniques. So, that will be end for today's lecture. Uh, tomorrow we will see, try to develop some more techniques to calculate geodesics on, on other surfaces. Thank you.